Hello, my divine babies. Welcome to this reading. This is a reading for heavy moments when you've been through disappointments and you don't know what the purpose of all of it was. And the bottom of the deck, I, I feel like looking at the... Okay... The bottom of the deck energy is just creating an opportunity, creating the opportunity that you've been waiting for to get away from the conflict with the help of, with help, with proper help. And you feel exhausted. Something that you've been looking forward to for a very long time, a very long time. Personally, in, like in my case, I had even gotten visions about this but I did take some actions which created which I believed were meant to create this opportunity but they created a disillusionment a disappointment and it's very interesting now that I mentioned to differentiate between dis disillusionment and disappointment. This spread here talks about disillusionment. It talks about how you might have been expecting someone to b someone end a situation to be in a certain way, but it is not. Now, you can see that there are three aces, and the ace is a very powerful omen of change, the most powerful omen of change in the minor arcana. And there are three aces. And it's a heavy energy, it's an, an energy of walking away, walking away from how you thought no not just how you thought this would play out but walking away from everything entirely just emotionally mentally i feel like this disillusionment was meant to create this within you this vibe of just not Caring about all, just being so disappointed that it's like, what the fuck? This card, what I feel with the with the King of Swords is, you might have looked at someone and thought they were in a certain way. Not that they couldn't be like that, but. They just aren't. And you have thought they are. And because of this, you were creating expectations. Consciously or subconsciously. And it just turned out to be, as I said, a disillusionment. For many, it might have even been about a, a relationship or wanting to be with someone. And it just did not turn out to be like that. It's... It was like a reality check for some. Probably some would use that term. And... Plans, whatever you planned for was just just crumbled 
it just fell apart. Exactly because... You might have also been including some other people in your plans. Now, I feel like you don't even have energy to fight anymore. It's like you're so demoralized by this whole event that it's just too painful and aching and... Just not working. Things not working. Nothing is working. At the same time, be very, very careful who appears and whom you, you, you place your trust into because... I feel like in the last period of your life you learned a thing or two about trust. And that you shouldn't really place it in anyone other than yourself and the divine. And this is the thing. It's... This is a short-lived disappointment. It is something that is... A very fleeting moment. Very intense, indeed, but just not for long. I remember I read about the sun being in reverse, is that even a sun, even in reverse, the sun still does not talk about darkness, you know? So it's... It's like a, a very cloudy day or something like that, but it doesn't last long. It's just, that's the main thing for you to know. It doesn't last long. It goes away fast. Now, this is the... When I read about this in reverse, like what I remember very well about that description there, it was compromise. It may seem like there is a need for compromise here. And that you're giving up on a creative project because of the unfolding events, because of You've been holding on to the past and now it's the requirement is to let let go but you kind of don't want to and it's like these two things are connected it's like this creative project was very much inspired by this and it was for the hopes and wishes of this But for those with whom this resonates, if you don't want to give up on this project, try to just have hopes and wishes for it on its own. This card is kind of mute for me. <laughs> it's... No wonder I looked at, at its meaning in reverse and it's... Again, I forgot. <laughs> it's like some Neptunian fog just just lands on it. I, oh, it, this, it says that this card in reverse talks about stubbornness. There might be need for compromise of some sort. Yeah. 
That's why it's a very heavy energy for me. And be very careful of dangers. You might be heading into very dangerous territories. But this is a lesson, a very hard lesson to learn. Again with this card, it's like be very, very careful whom you place your trust in. Things may be deceiving. And it's... This is, as I said, a very painful lesson to learn. Kind of like a Saturnian type of lesson that is very harsh, but puts you on the trajectory of working smarter for yourself and just making better, more grounded decisions. Still, oh, it was 11.33 <laughs> when I, like, at the recording time. When I said still. So, oh, and now it was 11.44. <laughs> 11 minutes 44. This is, talks about the outcome that you actually deserve. Still being here, but it's like, <laughs> it's like that kind of weird going prophecy that, as I said, as in my case, it's mm, one might have expected things to unfold in a certain way as per visions, as per a prophecy, but it's they seemed delayed and there seemed like an action needing need, needed and one takes that action which is exactly the catalyzing effect for this outcome to to happen as per the vision as per the prophecy and I feel like in this situation, this disillusionment and this disappointment, this lesson is the very thing that puts things on the right track, which is painful. Not, the, not necessarily the right track, but this turn of events is, is painful. And this card does talk about some turn of events it's these two cards at the end signal to me this turn of events coming from this inner realization this inner truth found in this darkness and this disappointment and this disillusionment and it's but exactly because of this you're not looking at the past anymore in this in this kind of way, where this person just looks at the spilled cups. It's... It's like now you look at some cups which you had thought they were filled, but they were not. And you might have been waiting on them. But thing is, now you can focus on these other cups there. Yeah. Because you have realized that these are empty. So as I said, this is the catalyzing event. Even though it may not seem so, even though it may... In, in the midst of this disappointment, things may seem hopeless. Try to not lose your faith. 
try to not lose your trust in the divine. Because as I said, it's change. It's powerful, powerful change. And it's not just at the horizon. It's already happened. It's like, it's already happened. It's happening, I'm hearing. So let me know how this resonated for you. For personal readings and other stuff, you can find my email in the description. I love you. You're beautiful, shining and amazing.